Once upon an evening respite, searching TV shows so desperate, tried to relax more or less, but everything seemed such a bore. While I struggled nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. It seemed as if someone rapping, rapping at my front door. Who could that be disturbing me, rapping then so constantly? Maybe wind and nothing more. My creaking door opened wide, revealing a child just outside, wearing raven costume with pride she had purchased at some store. She held a plastic pumpkin lowly, then began to raise it slowly. I thought to myself, holy moly, it was a gesture I could not ignore. She couldn't have been more than eight on that late October date, on that night, and nothing more. Somehow the year had passed. Almost November, I was aghast. October's last day came so fast, creeping up and comes before. Was Halloween upon me here, as this raven did thus appear, bringing her spooky atmosphere to haunt me at my front door? Was this the purpose of her quest, to be an unwelcome guest, only her and no one more? So confident, yet quite petite, then in a voice so silky sweet, she said out loud, It's trick or treat. I was shaken to the core. It was clear she desired a treat, this little urchin from the street. I quickly tried to be discreet. Did I have candy? I was not sure. My faculties I tried to rally and quickly made a metal tally. Not one piece and nothing more. She said again, it's trick or treat, but this time she was not so sweet. I stuttered, mutter in retreat, then tried diversion to explore. Uh, where are you from and what's your name? I thought it safe to play some game, but the response that quickly came, I'm the raven called Lenore. I sensed her exasperation, repeating herself without hesitation. I'm the raven called Lenore. When I was young, we had to do some kind of little trick or two before each encounter was through at every Halloween door. This opportunity to demand some performance then at hand was something she had not planned. I had stumped her at my door. I sensed a frown behind her mask as she puzzled at the task only this and nothing more. Are you someone that is so sick requiring from each kid a trick before some candy they can pick from your stash at your door? I was taken quite aback from what I felt was her attack. We faced off in the night so black, me and this raven, Lenore. Was this a little standoff there? Lenore and I began to share only then and nothing more. Then finally I said to her, without a trick, then I'd prefer for what you seek, I must defer to the next neighbor's door. I slowly ushered her away. It's too bad you cannot stay. And other folks you must pray collecting treats door to door. I watched her going down the street collecting from those she'd meet, and I'll see her never more. I turned off all lights in the place, discouraging others just in case they thought my house they'd grace, dressed up in their costume lore. Then slowly to my TV chair, I went to find some comfort there. I had no candy I could share. I was a Halloween bore. "'Twas best to hide away that night, not to engage in Halloween fright, so none would come any more. I fluffed a cushion, then reclined. With the remote I hoped to find a pleasant show to ease my mind, something that I could endure. But there upon my TV screen a horror show with gruesome scene, the most disturbing thing I'd seen anybody would deplore. 
I sat in shock, so mesmerized at all the evil thus devised, I couldn't watch it anymore. As I tried to channel change, my remote would not rearrange. Taking charge, a force so strange was in control evermore. The power, sound, and then the show were fixed with nowhere else to go. I was a captive, don't you know, wondering what was in his store. I recoiled within my chair, frozen with a terrified stare. It was dreadful evermore. While that TV show was playing, eerie luminescence straying, spooky frightening shadows swaying on Wallace's ceiling and the floor. My bust of Edgar Allan Poe was even caught up in the show. It seemed to have a sinister glow I had never seen before. My house was gruesomely haunted with a force so undaunted, go away forevermore. With my curtains wildly flapping, from my front door there came tapping. Had she returned with more rapping, that little raven called Lenore? I crept toward the entry place, sneaked a peek through curtain lace. But there was no one who did grace the spot in front of my door. But the rapping kept on coming, growing louder with its drumming, pounding, pounding evermore. From my back door there came tapping. My windows joined in the flapping. It seemed Edgar Allan Poe was clapping. Oh, how great the horror. I trembled in fearful wonder. Was this the fate of my blunder? Then lightning, followed by thunder, flashed outside evermore. The world seemed to be in chaos, swirling. I was at a loss. Come again, oh, nevermore. To my front door, then I sped, tore it open and quickly fled, got to my car and drove ahead to the nearest grocery store. The candy aisle was in a shamble, must have been a wild scramble, and down each aisle I did amble all around that empty store. A box of full-size snicker bars tucked between some empty jars, I bought them and nothing more. Returning to my car at last, drove to my neighborhood so fast, I looked to find that little lass, that costume raven, Lenore. There were groups so hale and hearty, having fun and festive party. I hoped that I was not too tardy and could find her at some door. Up and down each street I hunted, hoping she could be confronted. Could I find her evermore? I spotted a raven walking gently, parked my car and consequently hurried up. I was intently hoping to even up the score. In my hand a snicker bar, I hadn't gone very far, she turned and said, there you are. I instantly recognized Lenore. Now please accept this candy treat from me here on this lonely street. I shall not forget you evermore. Now Halloween comes once a year, I will remember and hold dear, each ghost and goblin I will cheer, every princess at my door. Uh, my calendar has a big red mark, my lights are on, not in the dark. I am the Halloween patriarch, with lots of treats for kids galore. Now let this be a lesson to you. Treat kids kindly who come to you. Don't be an ogre, but do adore.